So, 38% of all our leads come directly from ChatGPT. 38% of our signups come from ranking first on ChatGPT with the so-called LMSEO. So, in this video, I wanna go over exactly how and what I'm doing to do or to rank or be mentioned or cited in ChatGPT and any other LM like Grok, Perplexity, doesn't matter, right? To have a bunch of leads come in from ChatGPT. Now, you might be wondering what the hell is this and how do I know that I'm getting all these mentions or 38% in GPT? Well, what this is, is this is our analytics software. Now we use something called PostHog. You can use Google Analytics. You can use anything you want. The data is all the same. Now what you see here is from August till November, right? The um, blue bar right here is the number of signups, not clicks, signups. So people who click the link inside of ChatGPT for whichever prompt they searched for, they clicked it, they went to our site, and they signed up for our product. If you don't know, by the way, my product is called Arvo. Um, I mean, by now you know I own this, and by now you know what it does, right? I just wanna give you a bit of context, okay? And point is that these, the share of signups from ChatGPT has been increasing all throughout the year. Again, it was 6.7% in August. It almost doubled on September, doubled again in October, and now in November, this month, right, which we're seven days in, um, it is a 38.1% share of all our signups. Now, small caveat right here, these are signups where we can track clicks, meaning we can track the UTMs. So let me give you an example. When you go into ChatGPT and you ask it for something like, uh, what's the best, let's just do, for example, what's the best uh, teeth whitening brand, okay? Now, what it'll do is it'll give you, of course, a bunch of info and links to brands of teeth whitening, okay? And you'll notice that, look, may your eyes look down here, okay? If I hover over a link, right, you see the domain name, and then at the end you see question mark UTM underscore source equals chat GPT. So all these links are tagged, all of them with UTM source GPT, okay? So if I click this, well, then the analytics on these guys' site would know that I came from ChatGPT because all these links are tagged with a UTM source ChatGPT. Okay, so going back here, and to show you this data again, these are, so 38% from all the signups we can track clicks from, right? This came from YouTube, these came from, I think, a YouTube video, these came from ads, Instagram, et cetera, right? 38.1% of the ones we, we track come from ChatGPT. So we know directly these guys we're searching on ChatGPT for whatever prompt they are searching, and I'll go over why that's not really very relevant, right? And somewhere, somehow, some when they click the the link, went to our site and signed, liked it enough to sign up. Now I don't know like how far down the funnel they were, right? Let's imagine ChatGPT is a funnel, right? You you prompt it with something, it gives you an answer. Okay, you prompt it again, gives you another answer. Okay, this is how these LMs work, regardless if you use ChatGPT, Perplexity, Grok, Claude, whatever, right? You prompt it and you, it's giving you answers and then it's falling down until, until you, you have your, the proper reply you want, right? So I don't know, maybe they prompted and the answer did include a link to a blog post of ours, or maybe they didn't, they didn't even click that. Maybe they prompted again and, and eventually it linked to a, a case study of ours. Maybe, maybe they didn't even click that that time. Maybe they prompted again and then on the third time it linked them again to it mentioned again our site, like for example our, our, our homepage, I don't know, and then they clicked it, right? So we could have been mentioned in these two answers, but we only, only got the click on the third answer. Does that make sense? So that's also part of the reason why I wanna address this, is that you don't need to track what prompt you're showing up for. It sort of is pointless, okay? For what I just told you right here, and because more data doesn't equal more success, and people get too caught up in data and don't do any work. And a perfect example of this is people who use uh, Ahrefs. And I use Ahrefs every single day. But all these metrics you see right here, this is all, this is our old domain, by the way, but this is all vanity metrics, right? These numbers don't mean a thing. Even traffic doesn't mean a thing, right? This, none of this means anything. One, because it can all easily be manipulated, okay? You can go and buy uh, $10 services on Fiverr where they'll just increase this number which makes it not mean anything. And then even the traffic, right? You could be ranked, you could have like 1 million in monthly organic search traffic. But if the traffic doesn't convert into buyers, well, 
Why do you even want to, want to traffic? So all this is sort of vanity metrics, kind of pointless. Now, it's not to say that you shouldn't like look at this and, and try to take some conclusions from this stuff, but don't like blindly follow this, right? And I, I've said this before, right? It's not because we have more backlinks that are going to rank higher. It's the power and the, how the backlinks look like. It's not because we have more traffic that you make more money than us. It's how qualified is that traffic? How are the keywords, you're, are you ranking for keywords that have high buying intent? Or are you ranking for some random ass keywords, right? It, it's all, there's a bunch of nuance in this. And the same thing applies here, right? There's no need for you to know which prompts like exactly bring you money. Firstly, because it's, it is impossible to know, at least not as of now, uh, because OpenAI doesn't share this with us and all the prompt tracking, LLM tracking tools are sort of bs -y, And I, I made a video on this before. Not to say that they won't be valuable in the f in future, but they're not right, right, right now, right? So there's that. But basically, and I found this post on LinkedIn a while back, which, not a while back, like yesterday, which made me write this here, which is, again, I'll just read some, some parts of it. You should kill your analytics as early stage startups. Like last month, the founder showed this dashboard. 47 metrics, 12 graphs, real-time updates. The business was dying, but his data was beautiful. And here's the truth nobody admits. Data is where startups go to avoid hard decisions. Right? Analysis paralysis, data becomes the excuse, correlation doesn't equal causation. Again, more backlinks doesn't necessarily mean you're going to rank higher. Right? There's some correlation, right? but doesn't mean causation. More traffic doesn't mean you make more money. Again, there's some correlation, but no causation. And you can read the whole post if you want. I mean, I'll link it down below. You can just take a screenshot or pause the video. But my point is that don't get too caught up on the data. Okay, That's my point here. Now, second thing is LLM mentions... Right, which lead to signups, okay, these mentions led to these 38% of signups, right, are a byproduct of work you do as a brand. And I know this isn't sexy, and it's what most people want to hear, hear excuse me, but because most people want to hear that there's a specific thing you can do to rank number one on ChatGPT. But in reality, there are very few things you can actually do to impact LLM rankings directly that don't impact your brand and Google rankings, right? There's some things you can do, for sure, which I've outlined in these uh, five videos, which I'll link down below, right? There's some things you can do, but most of the things you do, right, to rank or to be mentioned or cited highly on these LMs, right, by default are things you're doing for the classic SEO. Okay, again, there's some nuance to this, there's some correlation, but there's no causation, okay? So go watch these, right? Again, I wish I could give you like, hey, here's five things you, you, you need to do to rank first on ChatGPT. And I've sort of made the mistake of saying this in these videos, but these are, these are just to get clicks. If you actually watch the whole th way through, you'll notice that, specifically this one, you'll notice that there's a lot of nuance to this. Now, all this is good, but how? Like, how do you get this? How do we get this? How are we increasing our share of mentions and then, by default, signups of users on our product with ChatGPT. How are we doing it? Well, it is simple, not easy, and after you watch these five videos, videos which I'll link in the description, you have to go and watch this right here. This is a free LMSEO course that I'm linking, it's gonna be the very first link in the description that teaches you in one hour, for free, every single thing we did to achieve these results for our business. Now, am I saying that if you follow these steps, you'll see the same success. No, but you'll probably like be further down the line on, on probably achieving the same results. I just share with you, since, since I made this channel like five years ago, my goal is just to share with you the things that are working for my business. I share what I do, I share what, I, what I'm building, I share every single thing I do on my business that's bringing me results. With the goal of saying, okay, if I show people what I'm doing, maybe if they try to do the same thing or taking the same concepts and try to apply them to their business, maybe they will see results too. So this is the whole point of this channel, showing you what I'm doing and how I'm succeeding so you can apply it to your own business as well. Now, this stuff right here, I'm driving traffic to a software company, to a software as a service company, which is Arvo. Now, it doesn't matter. Like all the, and hopefully you guys get this, right? Jesus. Hopefully you got, and hopefully you guys get this, right? My, my, my teachings, I guess, are, it can be applied across the board to software companies, to agencies, to e-commerce stores. I try to give generic enough examples so you guys can, uh, like, no, don't think this can only be applied to software or to myself. No, it's applied across the board. So if you don't know exactly how we did it, again, for free, it's going to be the very first link in the description, the free LMSEO course 
to rank number one in ChatGPT in 90 days. I truly believe that if you apply the set that's on here, not just watch it, but if you actually apply it, you can see some result and you can see some increase in signups or traffic from GPT. I can assure you of that, okay? But just know that 90% of the stuff that I teach you on these videos and on this course goes back to the classic form of SEO. As I say here, there are very few things you can actually do to influence or to impact LLM rankings directly, meaning things that you, you could do that would just impact it directly. No, they, they, the things you do impact your whole brand strategy, your whole rankings on the classic search engine like Google and Bing, and then it, the LLM mentions are basically a byproduct of the work you do as a brand. Again, I know you guys don't wanna hear it, but that's just the truth. That's what we've been doing. That's how we've seen the results, these results, excuse me. So if you wanna see similar results, well, don't just watch this, but watch the whole, the whole thing and then go out and apply it. And if you go actually watch it, apply it, and if in 90 days you do this stuff and you don't see results, well, feel free to email me, tell me that you, what you did, how you did it, and if, uh, maybe I'll give you some tips on um, what I think you did wrong or what I think you should be doing better, okay? So yeah, click the link, go watch it. Thank you so much, and if you could do me a huge favor, and as a thank you for this amazing free course, if you could comment the words AI SEO or LLM SEO, that'll be amazing, they'll help me push out this video to more people. They'll help the algorithm gods push this video out to more people. So if you can comment the words, LMSEO, that'll be amazing. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.